Ever wondered how we here at Veed overlay videos like this, this, and this? Well, wonder no more. I'm gonna show you how to easily add video onto another video. So let's get started. Hi guys, I'm Lauren, and the first thing you're gonna do is head to v.io. Now you don't need to download any software. All you gotta do is click the first link in the description. Now we're in Veed, we're going to click create new project, upload a file, choose the file that you want to fill the entire frame with and give it a couple of seconds to upload. Next, we're gonna upload the video that we want to add on top of this video. And you can do this one of two ways. So the first way you can click add video right above the timeline, or you can click media in the left hand column and upload a file. Now both of our clips are uploaded, we are going to drag our second clip on the timeline above the first. Now we need to resize and reposition it. So to resize your clip, click hold and drag the corners in and out to get the size that you want. And to reposition it, just click on the video, hold and drag it. Now in the settings, you'll see we have some options to change the video. You can add rounded corners and change the roundness by increasing the number up to 100. Under the adjust tab, you can rotate your clip, you can flip it upside down and left and right. And I've got one little extra trick just to make your videos pop. So if you head to the elements tab, under the shapes, pick square. Now drag the corners of it to make it a rectangle just bigger than your overlay video. Next on the timeline, you're gonna put the square between the two clips. So just pull it to the side for now, drag your overlay clip up one bar and sandwich it back in between the two videos. Next, drag the shape behind your video overlay and change the color and voila. So it just kind of separates the two videos and makes it more visually appealing to the viewer. Last thing to do, render and export. So to do this, hit export in the top right hand corner, choose render settings, I'm gonna go HD and click export once more. And just give your video a minute to render. Now that it's rendered, we gotta watch it through just once, just to make sure we're happy before we download. Here are six things that you should know if you plan to visit Italy from the UK. You can now forego paying £40 for a PCR test for a £15 antigen test, and you must take this 24 hours in advance. Now that's done, we're gonna hit download and download MP4. And that's it, it is literally that easy. So I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, please give us a like, subscribe for more editing content, and leave me any questions or comments down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.